you know, it's bad enough when you put on that new fragrance called quitting. But it's even worse when you sit up there and make up a lie. When the Bible clearly says, thou shall not lie. Get my rigging down, you done purchased you a first way ticket to hell, bruh. You're sitting up here lying about a hand injury. It was first reported that Gilmo Rigondeaux quit in the Lomachenko fight because he had a broken hand, right? That's what we all sat up there and heard and believed, that he had a broken hand. Well, it's been reported today that that was a mother-loving lie. More sad news for you Rigondeaux fans to cry and complain about. So as it turns out, his hand wasn't broke at all. He had a broken heart. That's what he had. Sit up there and broke his heart. Lomachenko took his soul and broke his heart. And he sat up there and quit. That's what he did. And made up an excuse about a broken hand. Sat up there and lied and told all of us that his hand was broke. And that's the reason that he quit. Dan Raphael just reported that was a mother-loving lie. They had the x-rays. He had no broken hand. No injury to the hand. You sat up there and lied about quitting, bruh. Making up false and fake injuries. Even more, that's even more pathetic than quitting to make up the injury. You done fabricated a broken hand. It's, sh it's shameful. I ain't even got no more to say about rigging down. I feel bad for rigging down fans right about now. Your boy's sitting up here faking injuries, fabricating injuries, talking about broken <laughs> This shit too funny, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Ringendahl getting caught lying about having a broken hand. Oh, my God. You Ringendahl fans, oh, man, I feel bad for you. I feel bad for you.